Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. I'm taking a look at the uh, center console area here in the all new 2023 7 series. So what we have here is we have our start stop at the very top here. We have, this is our shifter. So uh, very similar to our other vehicles that have been redesigned. So we're just going to, you know, one flick down, uh, for example, uh, that'll put it in, you know, drive. We push forward, that'll go into reverse. So this is uh, something that we've seen before in uh, quite a few vehicles. We have our park. So the emergency brake, uh, if you will, uh, now doubles as our park um, in this vehicle. Auto H is right below it, so that's auto hold. Uh, very useful for stop and go traffic. When this function is enabled as it is right now, anytime you put your foot on the brake, the brakes are held for you. So you don't have to worry about uh, keeping your foot pressed on uh, the brake pedal, which I think is uh, really nice. Very convenient as well. Uh, moving at the top over here, uh, this is going to be the iDrive controller. I'm sure we're all very familiar with that. There's nothing uh, too different about that. You do the, have the home button for iDrive 8. Uh, media, tell, nav, there's a back button right over here in the corner. Uh, this works just as you expect. You can twist this left and right to go up and down a menu. You can toggle this left, right, all of that sort of thing. So uh, we know we know how that works. Uh, you can use, obviously, the uh, curved display as touch. And the intelligent personal assistant, you can activate uh, by, by voice or by using the microphone button on the steering wheel. Uh, coming down a little bit further, we do have the volume control. This is uh, pretty new, uh, debuted on the iX, but uh, we just simply uh, scroll and move this up and down. Uh, that will adjust the volume for the audio system. Pushing down on this is how we will mute uh, the audio system. Below that is our arrows going left and right, tra uh, going to the next track, the next playlist, uh, whatever content you're listening to. Right in the center, we do have the My Modes option. So My Modes is going to be going between our Personal Mode, our Sport Mode, Efficient, and in the 7 Series, we have a Relax Mode, we have an Expressive Mode. What do we have? We have a Theater Mode. Um, there's, there's quite a few modes, actually. Uh, it's, it's very cool. Um, so you can easily toggle between those different modes. Uh, it is quite an experience. So uh, right now we are in the expressive mode so you can see uh, the massage seats activate we have this yellow and blue theme that goes across the ambient lighting and you can kind of see how the light bar is kind of moving around and the colors are kind of playing and going back and forth all of that uh, there's also a digital art mode as well uh, that will glow all purple and the in the digital artwork shows up on the curve display I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like a piece of art in here now, guys. It, it's really uh, incredible what they've been able to do in here. And uh, the experiences that they're able to bring, uh, you know, drivers, are, it's just crazy. Uh, coming down to the furthest button down there is a little vehicle that has an arrow on it. Uh, that is your air suspension. That is, right now, it's at the normal height. If we were to press this, it would be raising to the highest level. I mean, you're not going to be clearing like off-road, you know, a situation like that. Uh, that simply is just going to just be giving the car a little bit more clearance, but uh, nothing crazy. It's not like an X7, as you can imagine. Uh, this one here, this is an, another button that I referred to in another video uh, around this vehicle. There are so many controls with an image, and then under the image, there are three lines. Uh, that essentially is like a quick key, a hot key that is getting us to a menu in iDrive 8. So for that, uh, that is like vehicle settings. Um, you can adjust your uh, safety features, uh, drivetrain, tra chassis. There's a whole menu there. And in, in an i7, uh, there would be a charging menu as well. Um, if you're not in an i7, if you're in one of the um, internal combustion uh, 7 series, uh, there will be you know, it'll be probably just those two menus. There may be another one, but it's um, basically your driving settings and uh, those basic things there. And right above that is a little P with a little um, camera that is bringing up your park distance control sensors, your surround view camera, 
your assisted parking, all of that additional functionality involving uh, parking and cameras, that's all going to pop up. It is important to remember that that will pop up automatically anyway because the sensors around the car, uh, which there are so many now, uh, will let you know uh, what's going on. Uh, but that is one way to manually pull that up. And one other thing, just to kind of remember as well, that I touched upon in a previous video, is that you know there are sensors now in the sides of the vehicle. That is to help with the, uh, the automatic door opening because all doors have that now. Well, when you are backing up or pulling into a tight space, uh, your PDC sensors are now 360 degrees. It's not just the front and the back. So just be aware that you're going to be having um, audible tones and warnings coming at you from the side of the vehicle in addition to the front and the rear. That's new. We've never had that before. So backing up into a tight parking spot where we normally are expecting, um, you know, the PDC sounds to be activating maybe, you know, a couple feet away from, you know, the wall, something like that. We're getting alerts and notifications long before that because we have to fit into the garage space. We have to fit into the other vehicles we're getting close to. So there's a lot more, lot more noise going on uh, much earlier in the process. So just keep that in mind if you have a new 7 Series that it is a, it is a 360 degree you know, PDC sensor uh, that's looking um, constantly around you, which is good, but uh, takes a little getting used to, that is for sure. Um, but aside from that, that's pretty much everything in the center here console of the all new 2023 7 series. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Please make sure you subscribe so you can always stay up to date with the latest content such as this.